What's shaking YouTube gores, the Emissary Sealed product here, and today we spent a ton of money at Walmart. So to start it off, we got a three-pack Astral Radiance blister, very cool, with the Sylveon promo. Five Grand Creators blisters, a single Dimension Force, three of the two-pack uh, Legendary Duelist duels from the Deep uh, blisters, so six packs there, and a couple random Pokemon packs. Side note, Darkness Ablaze is actually from a uh, random Kroger. But that's not all. I've seen so many people open these new Chaos boxes. You get a Legacy Pack, a Mega Pack, and a three Booster Packs. I've seen some crazy stuff get pulled out of here, so I'm super excited about this. And then we got these. We got two of the mystery boxes that come with uh, actually legit Player's Choice sleeves, so I'm super stoked about that. I need some sleeves from my Magician deck. Plus, we have this Evolving Skies like Special Edition, basically. It's just three packs of Evolving Skies in a box. So I'm going to get the plastic off of these, then I'm going to get all this stuff removed from its blisters, and uh, we'll get into it. So I was deblistering everything, and uh, yeah, this kind of got just attached to it. I don't know if we got scammed or not. There's a white code card. So you know what? Let's just, let's just go ahead and check this out. This was part of the video that I was just going to edit out, so we're just going to... Boom Boom Lit Leo, Tentacool, and a Reggie Drago. So, is that even, yeah, okay, yeah, that's all from the right set. But yeah, that was a super sketchy code card. All right, so we got 12 Yu Gi Oh packs from Blisters, four Pokemon since uh, that Evolving Skies was super sketch, and then these three boxes. I guess, I guess Pokemon decided that with the reprint of Evolving Skies, they were just gonna, you know, make little special editions. So, Let's let's just go into Grand Creators. See if we can get see if we can get that collector's rare. Because this set hated me. Nope. And still with the with the shifted names. Side note, code card for anybody that wants it from the Sylveon uh, blister. And then the giveaway for the video, I'm going to be giving away a Photon Strike Bouncer from Collector 109 and a uh, the Sylveon promo card from the Blister Pack. All you gotta do if you want to enter for a chance to win uh, this giveaway, hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on, and tell me what your favorite poll was from this video. Now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> we'll go one more Grand Creators Pack. I'll try and bounce around. Let's see. We want to do. Let's do. Let's do a pack trick just for this pack. Yukioi Punk, Armory Call, Virtual World, Joruri Punk, and then Exosister Vadis. All right, it's been a while since I did a mystery box, so let's let's go ahead and open this thing up. I've seen some good stuff, some not so good stuff. Get the Player's Choice sleeves that are actually good. A couple years ago, they put out Player's Choice sleeves. Ooh, hey, we got uh, Fusion Enforcers. And ooh, a Judgment of the Light Euro Pack. What up? Every time I see these open, it's like Dark Neo Storm. I I haven't seen both of these packs come out of the same uh, mystery box, so that's pretty cool. All right, Fusion Enforcers. I think the secrets in the front. If not, oh well. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. That's pretty cool. Miracle Fertilizer. Polymerization with the anime artwork. I know that's pretty good. Uh, we got Mark of the Rose and Predaponyx. So, pretty decent pack. Very excited about these sleeves. Gonna get my Magician deck set up now. And then we get a Jodel. So, we got we got some uh, Ghost Potential, Ulti Potential. Very cool. Never upset about opening a Judgment of the Light. And it's a Euro pack. So, we got Bajingi Ophidian, Sargasso Lighthouse. XZ Reception. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Ooh. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Kirin. And Bujin Regalia. So nothing out of there. Always nice to open up a Euro pack though. <laughs> we'll go, we'll go Darkness Ablaze. Like I said, this was like I love when I'm just walking through Kroger with my wife grocery shopping and I see a little Darkness Ablaze hanger. Boom, code card didn't spoil nothing. It was a Charizard artwork. Maybe we can get that Charizard. Just saying. But yeah, anytime I'm walking through Kroger, I'm just like, ooh, Pokemon pack. I got, I got to grab it. Got a Pan Sage, Electric, Fletchling, Hippopotas Reverse, and a non-hollow Galarian Darmanitan. So nothing out of that. Let's go with another Grand Creators. A lot of these sets hate me, so <laughs> we're not gonna do the pack trick just because we got so many packs here. 
XZ universe that it'd take forever and a day to go through. So I think we're gonna stop doing the pack trick for the Pokemon packs, but this is really neat. Like I said, Pokemon decided to reprint Evolving Skies and they did so with this. It's literally just three packs, nothing fancy, no extra code card. And it's an actual like Pokemon uh, product. It's not, it's not boxed by whoever the heck boxes these up. What is it? The, L, uh, the MJ Holdings? Yeah, it's not them. So, kind of neat. If you see it, might want to get it. If you want to open up Evolving Skies, that is. You know what? Let's go Skyscraper, or whatever the heck it's called. Boom. I don't know if any of y'all are excited about the Pokemon Go set coming out, but that's going to be really cool. I said I wasn't going to do the pack trick. And then I went ahead and did it anyway. So I got Spirit Mask, Gordy, Braviary, Wobbuffet. It just seems wrong to open up a Pokemon pack and not do the pack trick. Hippopotas, uh, Zarua, Full Face Guard, and a Stoutland. The Evolving Sky packs make me nervous because, like, the pull rate on this set was uh, not too great. I mean, I did manage to get... Oh, come on. There we go. I did manage to get the Alt Art Umbreon from like the first few packs that I opened up, but that was about it. I opened up a decent amount of Evolving Skies actually. And uh, I did the pack trick again. And I, <laughs> and I didn't really get a whole lot. So maybe we can change that, get another ooh, ooh, evolution here. Nope, shift tree. All right, we'll save, we'll save this pack for a little bit. Let's go, you know what, let's go Legendary Duelists. I do have a booster box of this. Just got delivered. Going to be opening it soon. I, like I said, I got a lot of stuff on the burners. So, Legendary Fisherman 2. We got a Double Fin Shark. Marincess Blue Tang. And Rage of Kai Rushin with a Cyber Shark. A lot of cool uh, water stuff got printed in that set. So, you know what? Let's just kill off Grand Creators. Woo! Strange code card placement. Let's see. Let's see if I can... Japanese pack styled it. Nope. All right. Now I'm just going to look like an idiot on the internet. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't awkward at all. All right. Ties of the Brethren. Dunnel. And Exosister Vadis again. With a very shifted Torrential Tribute. All right. It's very clear that Grand Creators just hates me. Especially because I can't pull anything. Like, since the first box I opened... I, ooh, Hidden Armory with a very shifted name. Insector Hornet. No Punk Ogre Dance. I think this one's actually, like, gone up in price, if, if I'm not mistaken. I could be completely wrong. And a Solemn Strike. So, so far, haven't hit the money point yet. <laughs> let's go, let's go Astral Radiance. We got the Origin Form Palkia. Let's see, if we can get, if we can get the Alt Art Machamp, that's literally, like, the whole opening paid for. So one, two, three, four. Let's see if we can get a radiant rare. That's like the new shiny. Instead of being shiny, whatever, it's radiant, whatever. So Barbaroach, got a Scyther, Eevee, little watercolor Eevee, <laughs> Heracross, Mantine. Oh, and I spoke it into existence. Radiant Halucha. That looks really cool. That is awesome. Let's see if we can get a double banger and Braviary, but that's amazing. That it's super textured too. I love these new radiant rares. That's awesome. Ask and ye shall receive. <laughs> uh let's go, let's go one more legendary duelists. And we'll open up that other mystery box. We'll say we're saving the chaos box for the end if you haven't figured that out. Alright. Number C1, so weird to see that as a common. That's one of my favorite XZ's monsters. Kyrushin's Dark Reef. Full Armored Black Ray Lancer. And Marincess, Marincess Spring Girl. So we got a super, not guaranteed. Very cool. New Legendary Duelist set actually is kind of uh, convincing me to make a Marincess deck. All right, so this one, this one was a fat one. So we've got the uh, Player's Choice Sleeves. A invasion of chaos, and then a really thin dark neo storm special edition. So, word to the wise: if you uh, pick up some of the the mystery boxes that are this size, 
feel around for the fat ones. <laughs> So we got three Dark Neo Storm and a Beat Raptor. I love that it's sealed up in this little thing. Eh? Oh, wait, no, there's two cards. All right. If it was just Beat Raptor, I would have left it. But we could get, uh, what is it, Shooting Star and Shooting Star. Ooh, I think we did. Not Shooting Star. Shooting Riser Dragon. I think this is like two, three bucks right now. It just came off the ban list, if I'm not like mistaken. So very cool. There's so much stuff all over my desk right now. I got sleeves, I got packs. All right, Invasion of Chaos, we will save you for the other Legacy pack. Let's go. Yeah, I think these are, yep. These are Euro Special Editions. So the North American Special Editions, you've seen them done to death, especially on this channel. They had the little, like, plastic inserts or whatever. These, they just come in the nice little slim boxes. We got a Valkyrie Fumpft. And ooh, and a uh, number XX Utopic Dark Infinity. So we got an Ultra. Let's see if that's the only hit. See, this this was the era of Yu-Gi-Oh, where it was just Ultra Super Secret. There wasn't anything like special. There wasn't Starlight Rares or Ultimates or anything like that. But we could get ooh, Danger Feats of Strength. Sorry, that's just the rare. And Dirge of the Lost Dragon Super. I was going to say we can get Fusion Destiny, which isn't as good now as it was a couple of months ago. Could also get uh, Mystic Mine as a super. That's a good like four or five dollar super. We got Morge Slug, Star 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 Starring Starling, and an Orcus Crescendo. So only one Ultra out of that special edition. All right, let's do the one Dimension Force that we have, and then run through everything else. Before we go into the chaos box I'm trying to make this not an exceedingly long video but i mean there was a ton of packs divine dragon general probe i'm knocking stuff over and liberomancer realized all right for for legendary duelists the thing everybody wants is droplet but i honestly want the uh number 101 silent honor arc that just like ripped in half but I want the ghost because that's the first XZ monster I ever used. And it is 100% my favorite XZ monster. Where it says Battle Ocean and Cyber Shark. I've also noticed that the rare just pops up whenever the heck it wants in these things. Like there's no, doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. We got a Saber Shark, Rank Up Magic 7th one, Sea Stealth 2, Marincess Pascalis as a common. And number 71, Rebarian Shark. It's crazy to see it as a comment. Like the, I think it was a super or a rare was like four or five bucks not that long ago. So that's going to help any Marincess players uh, build their deck on the cheap. We got a Bahamut Shark. That's crazy. That's only a rare. And we got full armored Black, Black Ray Lancer and another Marincess Pascalus. If I could talk. All right, one more Astral Radiance. Then we'll run through these, open the Chaos Box. You know what we're doing. We're hunting for the crazy poles. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> of course, you know what we're doing. You wouldn't be here if you didn't. Uh, <laughs> and I did the pack trick again. All right, we're just going to keep doing the pack trick for Pokemon. Got a Hisuian Heavy Ball. Got a Hoot Hoot. Pawniard, very li weird looking Pawniard. Got a Poochiena. Yanma. Drifloon. Rampardos. Ooh, we got a V-Star. We got a Decidui, a Hisuian Decidui V-Star. That's really cool. Dope. So we got a V-Star and a Radiant Rare out of there. So Astral Radiance, the pull rates for Astral Radiance are stupid good. Just gotta say. Let's see, let's see if we can uh, get something with our Evolving Skies here. One, two, three, four. Because I said, screw it, we're doing the pack trick. Zina's Resolve, got a copycat. Ice Q. Woo bit, ooh, 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 skipping over a bunch of stuff. Got an Eevee, Temple, Cutie Fly, ooh. Applin, Digging Gloves, and a Seismitoad. Could have just not bought that uh, Pokemon Special Edition and been fine. <laughs> so maybe you don't want to buy them. Uh, we got the code card. I know it's upside down, but y'all get it. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's see. Let's see if we can get anything else out of this triple blister for, uh, Astral Radiance. Because we've already done 
pretty well with a V-Star and a Radiant Rare. Poochiena, Glameow, Yanma, got a Rufflet, and a Regirock. Two out of three hits, not bad. All right, let's, let's get that Droplet. Rank Up Magic, Marincess Seahorse, Bahamut, because I've never pulled a Droplet. We got a Frostosaurus and a Rebarian Shark. Definitely going to have to uh, open that booster box soon since we didn't get really anything out of those blisters. Tried doing that on camera and it was pretty rough. All right. So we're going to go one at a time. We got, ooh, Duelist Alliance. Get that ultimate rare. Uh, El Shadal Construct. That Perform House Swordfish. Battery Man 9 Volt. Ooh. Samsara Dragon of Rebirth and Graph of the Burning Abyss. So we got a hollow and a non-hollow guaranteed pack. I feel like these might be the like the best value uh, mystery boxes that have come out in a long time. And Breakers of Shadow. Mostly just because like you legit get your money's worth, especially with the Mega Pack. Like some of the mega packs are 25 bucks, and that's how much uh, these chaos boxes cost. Stegosaur, so the melodious Songstrish, Songstrish, Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon, super, not bad at all. I think that has like guaranteed supers in it. So, uh... ooh, we got a Stardust Overdrive. That's really good. We'll save that for with the. Is that the Legacy Pack? Nope, we got a Dark Crisis, and then our Mega Pack. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Is ooh, 2015. This Mega Pack is seven years old. That is crazy. I have no idea what comes in this set because <laughs> they advertise like the 2017 one, but you get something even older. We got Climate Change, Pendulum Shift. Should all squamata, that's not bad. We got draw a muscle. Ultra is Cliffort Scout. Our secret is Ooh, we got a Dante. That's really good. And then a Focalist's Cannon. Not a bad. Hey, Teller Knights. Not a bad pack at all. Alright, Invasion of Chaos, Stardust Overdrive. Dark Crisis. Let's go. Let's go. Dark Crisis. See if we can get that skill drain. I think I think skill drain from here is still like 20, 30 bucks. So is it? No, we're not gonna we're not gonna do a pack trick. Iron Blacksmith, Kotetsu. Precious cards from beyond. Pandemonium. We got a Frozen Soul and an Archfiend Soldier. Stardust Overdrive. See if this set likes me. Did pull a uh, Explosive Magician out of only one first edition pack. Because it's impossible to find first editions of these. So let's see what we get. Boom, super old. I don't know how old it is. There's no gap, but you never know. We got a ground spider. Got a savage coliseum. A tuned magician. Ocheleon. Shine Palace. That's a cool rare. And Woodland Archer. So nothing out of our 5Ds pack. Alright, last pack magic. At the end, I'm gonna try and throw up a total of all the stuff that we got. I don't think we hit that $125 mark. We got a Stealth Bird, Sea Serpent, Balloon Lizard, it'll be after the Balloon Lizard. We got a Hammerhead, Chaos Greed, Tower of Babel, Tornado Fish, ooh, ooh. Chain Disappearance, and yellow luster shield so i don't think we hit that 125 dollar mark but we did get some pretty dope stuff definitely def i was excited about the radiant halucha 
and the Hisuian Decidueye V-Star, like that two hits from a three pack blister isn't bad at all. Plus we got, you know, the OG anime artwork polymerization, not bad. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Remember, if you want to enter for a chance to win this giveaway, all you gotta do, like the video, make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on, and then just drop a comment down below what your favorite poll was. I really like the Radiant Halucha, just saying. But that's it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did and you wanna watch more of my content, you can click on either one of these two links. Don't forget to hit subscribe. See you next time.